So it's <clears throat> so it's kind of strange that you just did a video on um, anosognosia. I just watched a documentary last night on HBO about that, and I'm wondering if you saw the same one. Um, there was this one of the patients. I think his name was Tom. I don't even know what kind of accident he had because I turned in late. But he had um, anosognosia, and he didn't know that he couldn't hear. So people would be talking to him, and he would just nod, uh huh, uh huh, as though he understood, but he didn't. They didn't find this out until they started writing things out on a, on a dry erase board, and that um, he actually was able to then answer and not just shake his head, uh huh, uh huh. Um, they, they, they decided to do these that kind of a test because they did a brain scan, an fMRI, and found that there was all this activity in the uh, left temporal lobe where the language centers of the brain are. So he was conscious inside. And yet he couldn't he couldn't walk anymore, um, and he couldn't speak that fluently, and his his hearing was obviously gone. He had um, um, central deafness, meaning the brain itself was uh, the wiring in the brain that processes hearing was somehow destroyed, um, and so his eardrum was probably perfect, but his hearing um, processing center was was not functioning properly and um, he had no idea and the amount of frustration that this guy was expressing because you know people at first people were the the physical therapists and the nurses and the doctors were trying to talk to him and they didn't know he couldn't hear because he just kept pretending as though he could because he didn't know he had a problem he didn't even know that, that uh, he knew that accident an accident had happened to him that he fell but he didn't know that he was any different after the accident than before the accident. Um, you know, what's really striking about about uh, head trauma cases like this is the, the personality, the human being, the consciousness can disappear so quickly and that there's just a thin layer between, you know, a bright articulate person on the one hand and just a vegetable on the other. Um, it just shows the, the the bodily basis of intelligence, really. And that you know, flip one switch, and all of a sudden you're, you know, a blabbering idiot. And it's a fragile system, isn't it? 